Welcome to uh, Red Pill Raw Truth. I'm your host, Matthew Harbury, and um, today we're, we're not going to be joined by, by Judy Wood. We're gonna, well, we might be, I don't think so. we, she might be coming in later, but um, Andrew Johnson will be joining us in about half an hour, so it's just me for now. Um, and um, Rick Reitner, if, he, if he's going to be talking to me as well. But um, what I'm going to do today, um, for now, is I'm going to go through some of the oral histories that are, um, these are the official histories that have, um, from your firefighters and your, your lieutenants and your people that were on the ground of 9-11 at the, uh, on the, the, the first responders, and these are all under oath, so these are, these can be submitted in a court of law, right, and um, the, the architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, these people, they put, um, Oh, I'm just, just logging into the chat, log chat room. Sorry. Um, these these put these. Um, they they'll search the archi They will go through these. There's 503 of these testimonies, and they will go to these testimonies and then do a quick a text search for the word explosion, and then they will present. Oh, in the testimonies, the uh, official first responder testimonies. There's 118 um, mentions of the word explosions. Well. Um, they're not putting any context to that. They're just making a blank ticket statement and, pre and presuming that these explosions are bombs. Now, if we go to the, um, these witness testimonies and we, we do a search and we can read the text around the um, word explosion, we'll find that there's no mention of bombs. Or if they are, it's out of context. So what we'll do is I'm going to have a read through some of these testimonies. Right. So if anybody wants to join me i'm going to be paste, copying this link and pasting that into the right okay i'm good right so i've got a testimony the first testimony that we we get is um uh, one second i've got dr julie was mentioning me Yeah. Um, right. Okay. We've got Mr. This is I'm Paul Randberg of the Fire Department of the Police, New York. The time is now uh, 6:03. I am conducting an interview with Lieutenant Albrum. Albrum. And he, he is the one, two, three, four, five. The fourth one down on the list I've posted into the chat room. Now, if we open that out and um, we search for the word explosion, right. The first gentleman, for some reason, I, resemble, I remember particularly, he was a gentleman in his 70s. He said that he was on the 59th floor of the first tower that got struck. He was actually ordering some kind of food at the cafeteria. I think it's the 59th floor, I'm pretty sure and thought that when he heard the explosion that it was the kitchen oven. So th this doesn't sound like a bomb. It sounds like he just heard what he's, what he's describing is what he thought was heard was uh, the kitchen oven. And then further down, um, he carries on again. No, no, sorry. Right, next testimony. Um, Right. This one is. Oh, sorry. That was that was that wasn't Lupin Abrahams. This was um, that one was a guy, a Glenn Azda, Azenda, or something like that. Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth down on the list, and that's the kitchen oven guy. This guy is a uh, Lieutenant Abr Albrum. On September 11, 2001, I was assigned to our MOS daughter who was sick at the school responded there before we responded there I heard the call come down that an explosion occurred at the World Trade Center then I called my CEO and advised him of such so he can respond uh, one second dr. Judy Woods uh, calling me I think she's uh, um, uh, she, I, I don't know if she's coming on 
because I've got nothing planned, I'm just going to read through these testimonies because um, it just puts you, it puts it into perspective. Um, since I've been, since I've been looking through these testimonies, um, there's not much mention of bombs, and the architects and engineers for 9/11 Truth seem to hammer on these witness testimonies. They make out as though there's bombs everywhere, and these first responders are causing mentioning bombs and bombs and bombs. I've gone down first ten, and there's only two mentions of bombs, and one of them is talking about a kitchen oven blowing up. I mean, that's not a bomb. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelfth, the twelfth one down the list that I posted into the chat room. And we're doing another tech search for the word explosion. No mention of the word explosion. I mean, there's 503 of these. Um, hello? Hello. Hello, Dr. Julie Wood. Welcome to my show. Hello. I was just going through the um, first responder testimonies doing um, text searches for the word explosion and trying to put it in context. Um, and I found a few interesting ones. I found one that mentioned the word explosions. And, and it, it says... Uh, what did they think was it? Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'd close it. It, said it, it felt like it, it sounded like the oven exploding. It didn't sound like a bomb. It sounded like a kitchen oven. So, you know, the, yeah, the but, yeah, you, you have you have a noise in your oven, like when you're cooking a turkey, you hear something go pop, yeah. spat. Yeah, and the, the, the architect and engineers they'll say there's 503 testimonies, these first responder testimonies, and then they just say, and there's the word explosion mentioned 118 times. Yeah, when, well, they, they say when the jumpers, uh, supposed jumpers, uh, hit the, the ground, they exploded. There's another one. People exploded. Yeah. Yeah, I've just found another one. Lieutenant, oh, sorry, not that one. But I no one uh, there are a few new identif uh, identifications of what exactly exploded. Not hmm. a whole lot of things. I mean, you're not going to nope. have people identifying a bomb blowing up in their face. But nope. uh, th there are some uh, uh, particular um, ones, and uh, I don't know if I've read them on your show before. No. Um, I could read them. i got to change the glasses here. I'm getting serious. Uh, let's see. Uh, Patrick uh, Sullivan, a firefighter. He says, uh, there was a deputy chief's rig uh, on fire that was extended to a 113's rig. There was a big ambulance, like rescue company truck, but it wasn't a rescue company truck. It was a huge ambulance. It must have had Scott bottles or oxygen bottles on it. These were going off. You would hear the air go boom, and they were exploding. So he stretched a line and tried to put that out. You could only use booster water. <clears throat> and then there's another firefighter. Uh, Todd Heaney. Um, I remember getting a drink of water out of the cooler there. Then we saw. Uh, oh wait. Then then we just started to put the car fires out, and the rigs were going. Ambulances. I mean, they must have been 50 of these things burning heavily. The Scott bottles and the oxygen cylinders were all letting go. You would hear them blowing up left and right. Got a distraction here, a four-legged one. <laughs> okay, um, at this, at, at, and then there's, uh, let's see, Renee Davla. At this point, was your vehicle lost? This is an EMT. Basically, um, uh, all we to do is to go around the building, come around, uh, but it looked longer uh, than usual. But it took longer than usual because we're walking in this, this shit. That's what he said. Uh, like you move and it's the soot, like heavy dust. We're walking. I realize there's only have two people. I see my vehicle. The seats are covered. I've got my bag. I hold it like a trophy. Some people collect basketballs. I haven't touched. Pause. Whatever the force was, it was so strong it went inside the bag. Makes you wonder what it looks like in there. Then he says, but, but we're there. Vehicle 219 was destroyed. And uh, his supervisor says, well, was it on fire? And he says, what? And the supervisor asks again, was it on fire? He answers, fire? We saw the sucker blow up. We heard a boom. We were walking up Fulton Street. I don't know how far we made it up. When someone says, the building's coming down. By that time, I realized it's a repeat. There's other ones that were describing cars, uh, quote, cooking off. 
I remember too, the car, exploded. Yeah, I remember yeah, so too, the, car, the car started to explode inside the parking lot. I mean, the cars started cooking off. They started going off. Boom, 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 boom. I remember that. That was uh, Michael D'Angelo, EMT. And there's, there's so, other things exploding as well. But you've yeah. got cars exploding. But you've got, so when architects and engineers are saying there's explosions going off, they're not so putting the, any context. Here, here we, have, uh, we have oxygen bottles, or that's what one described as, in, in air tanks. Uh, he says oxygen bottles or air tanks. That's what, what uh, Patrick Sullivan, I've, I've been ridiculed for making that statement, but that is what the firefighter was calling him. And then uh, they, they have, uh, yeah, they're blowing up left and right. Um, and then one says oxygen cylinders. That's a firefighter who says that. And then Rene Davila, his, his, his uh, EMT vehicle, emergency medical vehicle, blew up. Another one has cars in the parking lot uh, going off. Boom, boom, boom. And there's, there's um, wasn't there a policeman who claims his uh, bullets were going off in his glove box? Yep, that was that was in that same uh, what I call it the toasted car park. So, so there's uh, plenty of explosions going off, and um, for, if, right. if anybody at, just at street doesn't... level, at, at street level, yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, I mean, I... is there a wonder what's going on in the building? I mean, you have these humongous uh, air tanks in the building, air pressure tanks. Um, if nothing else, to use for for flushing toilets high up, you know, to give it the flush more gusto. Uh, you know, like, I call them turbo toilets. Like, I guess airplanes have that too. Uh, pressurized air so they don't use much water at all and so uh, and you, but you also have water tanks up there so these would be uh, letting go using the words of the firefighters you know, when the the walls of the of the pressure vessel weaken at some point they're going to explode they're going to be yeah. over pressure for the amount for the strength of the walls absolutely so um, if, if you if you put them in context, there's just uh, mm -hmm. there's just there's not much you know people say explosion, but there's architects and engineers are making it out as though controlled demolition bombs, and there's just really no there's no so, evidence so, for this. So uh, yeah, Patrick Sullivan's using the word boom, um, you know, going off, uh, and then uh, let's see, blowing up. That's the term by Tide Heaney, and then Renee Davla. Uh, had you know we used, used the term blow up and boom, and Michael D'Angelo used boom boom boom, so those are uh, descriptions they're giving. Yep. Going off, exploding. Yeah, I, I've just I, I've I've gone down the I'm just down the first responders page now the the. Witness testimonies. I'm just opening them up and just doing a quick uh, text search for the word explosion, because that's what Richard Gates says. There's about 118 mentions of explosion. Or explode, or, or, or ex explode. You also use boom oh, and okay. blow up. Yeah. You also look for bl blow up. All right. I was doing uh, the explosion. Now, now, uh, what happens the... if you put an egg in your microwave oven? Does it blow up? You hear of course boom? it does. Yeah, absolutely. And it's certainly not a bomb. So I was just gonna. I was. I was trying to find the um, the actual word explosion and read around it to find out what the actually the context is of that's what we're that's what we're doing just that before you joined us and um in the first 20 um ones i'm just going down the list just the first 20 there's only about three testimonies that have the word explosion in there so like there's not not everybody's going bombs and explosions you know running around there's just right right there's very few boom like it, even gage says there's a hundred of them there's uh, out of 500 uh you know testimonies yeah, that's like 20% of people. Yeah, so it's you know it's just it's far it's uh, blown out. And, of the and, market, and then here, here's some that you know actually identified something instead of just hearing a boom. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah you're going to hear a boom. So so what? I mean, there's there's, there's you know if a house is on fire, you're going to hear a boom. There's some yeah. pressurized cans of hairspray or, or shaving cream or something that are going to explode. You yeah. put you toss those in a fire, they'll explode. Well, there's plenty of things that go boom. I mean, just just without nothing happening, cars backfire all the time. Just on the street, is they're just driving away, right. bang, you know. 